Hey guys, Caleb here with the Slar Video Shooter. Today we're gonna to be talking about the A box from Wooden Camera. All this really is is a breakout box for XLR for various different cameras. They make this for all different kinds of connections. So for instance, this is actually the Pocket A box. So originally this was designed for the Pocket Cinema camera, which had a eighth inch jack. Um, but what's cool is you can use this with any eighth inch camera whether that be a small camcorder, a DSLR, the ESM, mirrorless cameras, whatever. Um, so that's really cool. They do make ones for Epic cameras or RED cameras and uh, really anything. So you can check out, I'll put links on the bottom of this video and you can find all the different models uh, from Wooden Camera. So uh, yeah, just a breakout box has two XLR ports. So they, they're labeled one and two. Um, it's interesting because it looks like they use the exact same box for all the different models. So if you look on the side here, there's actually a one and two for the output cables, but on this particular unit, it only has one. So um, what you're gonna get is a left and right um, mono combined. So um, I've done some testing where I had, you know, a lapel on one and a shotgun microphone on the other, and uh, I was able to get those in post and play with the levels, which is cool. Now. Before we go into the details on this box, um, this breakout box, it is not probably the best way to do audio. Um, I, it's definitely not the best way to do audio. But for a lot of things, it's really going to work well. First of all, it's universal. It's not just DSLR or Canon DSLR specific. So um, the Canon DSLRs have pretty terrible preamps and uh, they don't record audio very well. So this isn't going to be the best thing. It's really literally adapting these uh, XLRs down to your eighth inch. Um, but that said, I, for the most part, especially when it comes to these DSLR video shooter podcasts, I just go straight to the camera with my audio. I don't use external recording and do dual system sound. It takes too much time. And at the end of the day, we're going to the web. So um, audio record quality, not mic quality in the environment you're recording, but the actual quality of the camera does a pretty good job and it does good enough so um, and you know it's just good to have because you'll never know where you're going to need an XLR cable so at its simplest form it's a way to get one to two XLRs hooked up to your Canon DSLR. That said let's move on to the build quality and how you can actually use this. I love how this is built, how compact it is, how elegant it is and it is incredibly well built. I don't know if you, I'll put this up on my mic so you can hear this. You don't hear a tinny tink tink or a plasticky feel. So it's incredibly well made. The knobs on it has the ratcheting uh, knob, just a single point. Um, it's actually 19 millimeter, but it does come with a little sleeve here that pops in and look, I gotta loosen this up here. And that's gonna give you 15 millimeter rods. Um, and then you also are given um, this little sleeve here and it gives you a small quarter 20 um, hole that you can use a screw to attach it to a camera cage or really anything. So I'm going to quickly show you how I've used it set up. The first and most simple way is just to attach it to a 15 millimeter rod. So on this cage here, I have a 15 millimeter rod up here. Um, the one on the back is pretty loaded down. So um, you could easily mount it right here, change the configuration as to where it uh, actually attaches. Um, but for this particular setup, one of the better ways to do this would be to take the little sleeve and attach it to the side of the cage here. So what I do is take my quarter 20, drop that in there, grab my Allen wrench, and I'm just going to attach it right onto the cage itself. So once you tighten that down, you now have your um, 19 millimeter uh, rod set up. And then from there, I can just slide this guy right onto it and hook it up to the camera. Probably do something, twist it around so we're not making a mess with our cables. Boom, now we have, and what's cool, look how incredibly sturdy this is. You know, I can use it almost as a handle. I can use it as a handle actually. Um, so it's really, really strong. Uh, and there we have our XLR cables right on the side of the camera. Um, another configuration that I've used, and it works really well with this wooden camera cage, is to actually um, mount it to the rod that attaches to the cage. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. So first we're gonna take this off. 
So once I have that off, I'm gonna set that aside. Then I'm going to loosen up the top and bottom uh, section of the cage here. And that's what's cool about the wooden camera cage is this vertical mount is actually um, 50 millimeter rod, which is really cool. So I'll loosen up the bottom, loosen up the top. It'll just drop down like so. Made a lot of noise. I'm gonna take the little 15 millimeter uh, adapter, slide that into the A box. And then I'm just going to mount it. Let's see, I'm trying to figure out like this. Slide it down, bring the rod back up, slide it into place, level it a little bit, grab my Allen wrench again, and snug that puppy down. Okay, now we have this guy and we can just uh, all set up. We just pull it up here. I like to have it nice and flush at the top. And we just tighten it down. Like so. And boom, we have really elegant, nice um, XLRs right on the side of the camera. So the other thing I really like about this unit is how strong it is and how strong the actual and high quality the actual ports on this is. So here I have a cable from my Sennheiser wireless kit and I can just take this puppy, line up the holes, yeah, pop it in, really strong, there's no wiggle there and then these tabs are really nice to, to pull back out. So it's just a super tough thing. Um, if you're used to using the H4N you're gonna know how pathetic the XLR ports are on that. Uh, this is nothing like that. This is in a whole nother league. So you get that nice sexy click, easy to pull in and out. So great, great unit. Now you could uh, easily hook up your XLR cables um, and anything else. So I really like this. I think for $200, it's incredibly well built. This is gonna last forever. You know, when you go down to your grandfather's basement or you know your uncle's place, and you find all this ancient audio equipment, someday this is gonna be in that pile of stuff. It's just so tough. It's gonna to last forever, so. And it's such a standard. XLRs to eighth inch, you can't go wrong. It's not some funky, weird connector that's only gonna work with one camera, so. Really like it. That's the A-Box from Wooden Camera. It's $200, and I think it's a great tool, especially if you work a lot with XLR cables. It's just gonna give you more flexibility on set.